Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the final part of this KT Ambulance build, we're going to be covering the weathering and finishing touches, and then we'll be going to the final reveal. All right, so we're going to start off pre-dusting, which is a technique that I like to use just to lay some foundations down. We're going to go with the weathering. Uh, this product I'm using here is from Modeler's World, which is a sort of weathering paint. And this one's a dirty dust one so pre-mixed product again give it a proper good sort of waking up as you can see what i use with the mixer before you start applying it it's one of them products that's really thin so you can't kind of go overboard with it um it's a it's a subtle sort of foundation i'd say um product that you just put down as a base layer in, again any all the lower halves anyway where you're gonna you're gonna have your dust and dirt it's ideal for that they do a, a few different colors but for the obviously the time and the seeing this is set in this is ideal for what i wanted at the time so again just build it up build it up build it up really slow It's, it's one of them products that's hard to overdo you can add sort of streaking if needs be and you know dirt effects I'm just concentrating obviously on the tires there just to dull down obviously the gray as well which is which is good it's good for should I say really growing to like this product it's kind of I've only used it a couple of times but like I said I like the properties of it it's, it's it's a nice product to use what also it's going to do is obviously that really bright uh, red cross it's just going to it's just going to pull that back a bit as well without obliterating it And again, with all the other decals as well, just give it a coat over them, just to blend them in with the rest of the the weathering effects that's coming up. So, yeah, good product. So safe as well. Choose over clear parts, so as you can see there. And again easy to clean up so you can make your wiper marks or or streaking or you know anything sort of that glass would get and then probably one of going to be the more dusty parts of this uh, ambulance would be up on the back and on the steps so we'll just build a few layers up there just to get the again the foundations of that down, laid down for the next steps. Mm. Again, just think logically where dust would collect as well. Whether it be on a tank or like this, uh, the ambulance or an aircraft or a ship or whatever whatever you're modeling just take your time and just think logically we build up a dirt dust grime whatever you want to call it would uh, would accumulate so next step one of my favorite steps the oil paint as you can see me got me cardboard palette there with all the paints down uh, like pre-drained so again pre-plan this because you're going to need a couple of hours for the oil paints to drain i've got like a little palette there as well with some odorless thinners in just for cleaning and blending and and of the paper towel in the in, as well which is uh, essential so always lay down more colors than i'm going to need 
you know, you can mix and match and you kind of go with it, go with the flow with it. Um, basic principle working light to dark, so main colours I use were dust, uh, or industrial earth, and I'm one of the earth colours. But again, I've got a, a, an, a, an array of, of oil paints on there that were just subtly mixing as I was going along. It's kind of a very organic process for me when I'm using oil paints and you just, just run with it, really, where you, where you feel like you, you the model's going to take you. So, again, the normal technique is, is, is a pin wash, once you've done your painting and, and initial painting and then you build up from there but I thought I'd try something different I thought I'd try the kind of the oil rendering technique which actually worked out quite well if, if, if I do say so myself it's quite a nice technique it's you've got a lot more control I think of where you're going and you do it in I was doing it into sort of little sections at a time or a side at a time instead of sort of when you'd use a traditional pin wash you can kind of get a bit carried away so yeah just just doing it a little bit at a time let it dry off a little bit and then blend in obviously with the oils being already drained as well they dry really quick so you can layer on top of them it's just sort of highlighting or Shadow into to say or not um, some of the deeper recesses. Basically just painting and then blending it. And that's the joy of oil paints, they because they blend so easy and they're very adaptable. They're a, they're a really nice medium to work with. Again, these are the Abteal on 502s. And um, obviously they been produced the colours so they are for for model making genre. I'm just doing a sort of sort of wash there around the nuts and the wheel nuts and the hub. Again this is going to be covered up again later on anyway so you just just an effect and then there's some more dust just around the outside so I like dust paint it on and and blend away yeah the one thing I will say when you when you're weathering is obviously think of the environment where your vehicle is you know and, and obviously what time of year as well this is going to be sort of summer 1944 Normandy so I'm going for a more dusty sort of dry summer look for it but again, if you're doing winter or in the desert you know wherever then obviously same rules apply but you know different tones are going to be required so again the oils work really well with the with the modelers world product as well they're both very thin so it's it's just layering and layering and building up gradually until You've got your desired effect and where you think well that's enough again modeling is subjective to the person who's doing it so you know if you think that's enough that's enough you know you, you walk away move on to something else um, nobody can tell you it's right or wrong so another underrated technique that i like to use is is the speckling technique it's it's one of them where you can have the the, the splashes and the flicked up sort of mud, dirt, dust, and then environmental effects. And again, it's it's another sort of layer on top of everything else that that would cover in. Um, again, if it's you get some big splobs you don't like, then you just clean your brush, blend them in, easy, easy peasy. A nice soft brush thin your paint accordingly um, you know you want it thicker than a wash you want a bit of texture on it but you don't want it so it's just very wishy-washy 
but saying that I have done it so you can use it as a filter as well because it does act if you do thin it you can you can use the speckling technique as a nice filter again you can see how obviously the the crosses now have been blended in you've got streaking going on there and they're just not as stark and bright and again going back to earlier the uh, the dark tone putting down to just add a bit of contrast in shadows and that can just be easily blended in with a bit of clean thinners that's a bit of a sort of going to be pin wash around the around the tire as well we're separating the tire from the the wheel hub So one thing I've not done on this one is is any chipping. I was just kind of thinking of the vehicle as well. There's a tiny bit on the front, but nothing, nothing over the top with this. I think it's an ambulance. It's you know it's gonna it's gonna get used a lot, but it's it's not kind of a frontline vehicle. So I've kind of not bothered with any chipping on this one. Um, but it, you know if. If you did want to add chipping, then obviously that's that's the choice of the model of the, the modeler themselves. But yeah, I've just kept this one more to dust and dirt. So last but not least, we're going to use some pigment. Again, the pigments are a bit sort of Marmite, I think. People like them or hate them. Um, and they've kind of come and go in fashion with a lot of other other techniques in the hobby. So I'm not, to be honest, I've got pigments. I've not really used them much as of late. You know, I think I've done a few demos with them and stuff, but I thought I'll dig them out and we'll, we'll give it a go. So. Again, these are the MIG Productions one, or the old MIG Productions one, what are now rebranded as Abtilung 502s. So there's a, there's a bit of a mix and a match, but it's exactly the same pigments with the same colours. Um, again, working from light to dark, which is the way I tend to weather. And as you can see, just get the nice, soft, flat, well, one brush that's out of shape. And put the pigment basically where you want them. That's the, uh, I think the gist of it here. Trying to again keep it down the lower half where, like I said, the dust and the dirt would collect anyway. I don't want to go over the top with the with the pigments because it can be quite a strong product. I'm just tapping it, tapping the brush, tapping them into place, building them up. So I've got a few colours there that I put down, um, like a, a light dusty pigment, a mid earth colour, and a dark earth colour, and I'm mixing them sort of on the fly, if you if you want to say that, as I was going along. So yeah, just getting different tones, different volumes, and then locking them all in with a pigment fixer and the pipette. So let a bit of capillary action do the work flick a couple of drops in and let that just do its job um, and go I go overboard a little bit with the pigment fixer around the wheels and tires so less is more
again flick some more over the top when the fix is wet build it up again can't keep saying this enough can't keep stressing enough to build it all up in layers and layers and layers and you know you won't go far wrong pull out the air dryer here just to get rid of some of that pigment fix so we've gone a bit overboard let that dried off and then obviously you will see the the end results touch-ups at the end And there you go so thank you all for watching like and subscribe and if you fancy any of these products we they're all going to be linked down below as they'll be sold in the pm shop as a conclusion for the actual ambulance itself the build really really nice kit really easy to go together definitely a weekend build um if you if you wanted to do it that way and yeah it's uh looks like an ambulance to me so I will see you in the next video.